Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth and my channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well this evening. I am um, taking one day at a time. Um, I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. I've been busy decorating. Um, let me give you a little bit more. Um, starting to do the trees and let me go to this side a little bit more so it's gradually filling up I hope to have it finished by this weekend and then I'll light the tree up and show it to those of you that are interested I do want to reach out and just kind of like remind all of you that under the circumstances right now with my life just being totally out of control I've received many, many sympathy cards for Kalu. And what I think I want to do is set up something um, like a little memorial or something for Kalu. And then I'd like to share the cards with all of you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep those to the side. And then I'm just going to do my regular friend and happy mail as I normally would do. Um, I also want to let all of you know that I've had many giveaway cards come through. Everybody's name who comes through on a giveaway is being transformed, transformed or transferred over to an index card, which is going into the Nomi box. And that's going to be good for giveaways for the entire year. So I'll put up in the sky the link on how to do that. In the meantime, um, let's get this Dollar Tree going. And I know probably the last thing you want to see from me right now is stickers, but I found some brand new stickers. So I have to share with you. These are from the Crafter Square Department. And these are all basically, they're not puffy, but they've got a little bit of height to them. So they're a little bit lifted off the sheet. This first one has 10 and it caught my attention immediately, especially with my mom being from England and seeing a, a booth right there. And that's exactly what they look like too, over there. So this was pretty cool in the Statue of Liberty and the Double Decker bus. My mom, one of my mom's brothers actually drove one of these Double Decker buses for a living his whole time, his whole life. So that's pretty cool. The next one I found is a 13 piece count. And this is kind of like all about summer. Let me just get the glare off for you. This is kind of like all about summer. Look at that big ice cream cone there all piled up. That looks so yummy. It's so cold here today. I think the high was like 37. And now the wind is whipping. I even have a hoodie on top of my Snoopy sweatshirt. I have another sweatshirt on top of that. I just have this chill. I just can't seem to shake. Uh, the next set is 14 pieces, and this one is also all about summer and fun. And that's, you know, really what I need right now. I need the ocean. Um, maybe I need to get out of this cold weather and hit the beach for a while. Okay, next one, all about outside and barbecue. This is 12 pieces. And let me bring it in nice and close for you. Because it's covered in plastic, you do get a little bit of glare. So I'm sorry about that. Look at those sneakers down there. And then we have this one. These are both nine pieces. This is just different. I, I've not any seen anything like this. So let me bring it in close. So we have like all different things to do about the ocean, the sea. Look at that big whale and then the wording on the whale. It's just unique. It's different. They really have a lot of different stickers in the crafting section. This one here is like, here's a for example. It says, what I love most about my home is who I share it with. Yeah, that's cool. So these are really pretty. And because they have a black background, the colors really pop up so nicely. Just like the green on the house, they just really look nice. Okay, my last um, Dollar Tree haul, I showed you some um, imitation gold lanyards that attach to your face masks. So now I found a couple different ones, but these are more like little ropes. So the first one I found is this one right here. It's got a gold tone, but it's more of like a rope. And then the colors vary as you kind of go around and I'll show you the backside. 
I found two different ones. This one had just a little bit more like pinks and blues and purples. Um, I don't know why they separated because like then there's the colors on the back. So I don't know, you know, they're different. I think with all this face mask stuff going on, people are just, you know, making money off of everything. The designer ones, ones that blink, ones that flash. Oi, I don't know. I guess I fell into it a little too by getting those, didn't I? Okay, um, I've mentioned this many times in my hauls before. My Domino Sugar, this is one pound and it's obviously a dollar and this fills my sugar container perfectly. It's also great for those emergency visits from Grandpa when he says, do you have any sugar? It's like, Grandpa, here you go. <laughs> okay, I also grabbed some more macaroni and cheese. Craft brand name and these are the full size boxes, the 7.25 ounce boxes. I was looking to see if these had box tops, but they don't. Why am I thinking they do for some reason? I have no idea. Anyways, I picked up three of those. So Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Who doesn't love Kraft Macaroni and Cheese? I guess there's probably a lot of people that don't like Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. But I prefer Kraft over all the other ones. Now, I just got these purely because I don't even know why. Because number one, I do not even have a Keurig. Maker. Is it called Keurig? 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 I don't have one of those. And, but what got my attention was this box that says donut shop blend. And of course, you know me and my donuts. I was like, donuts. So I've never seen these before. I'm going to pop it open. Now I know the Keurig, I know you pop the little thing in the machine, right? You fill it up with water, you pop that in and that's good for like one cup. Is that how it works pretty much? So I guess they're wrapped in this plastic. I'm going to actually open this up. Expiration date is August 1st of 2021. I'm just curious what the packaging looks like. I know, I, pff, me and my donuts, right? Okay, I did, oh, here we go. Okay. Oh man, that sucks. I'm thinking like, you know, I mean, I guess that's what they're supposed to look like. I thought maybe there'd be like some donut stuff on here. So, because as I looked at the box, it kind of appeared like maybe there'd be something on there. That's okay. I don't have a machine, but there's no reason why I can't cut this open and dump this in my regular coffee machine to try it. I also picked up this one here, which is Donut Cafe. It is a unique classic blend of American roast. This is the box. This one looks like, I think, let's see if it's uh, the same. No, these aren't wrapped. So these actually have, it says Copper Moon Coffee Donut Cafe. So those actually have something on it. And that's what I was hoping that these were going to have. But hey, that's okay. You live and learn, right? If anybody's tried these, can you please give me a comment down in the box below? I'm curious of what you think of them. Do they taste decent? Just what your thoughts are. Um, I've kind of thrown the idea back and forth of coffee because, you know, it's just me drinking coffee and maybe that would be more beneficial. So also, if you have one of those Keurig machines and you're like on your own and have one of the smaller ones, please let me know what you think below or let me know what you think. Um, goodbye, bad bye, don't get it, get it. What do you think? Just let me know. Crafter Square, some more paint brushes. These are the three pack sets. There are sets that have 20 brushes, some that have 10, some have five. There's all different kinds. But out of the brushes that I have personally used from Dollar Tree, and I'm actually using a set of these literally downstairs. Last night I was painting something to put on my three-tiered tray. I'm trying to make some little rolling pins that if you'd like to know what I've been doing with those, please let me know. Um, anyways, these are my favorite brushes. They don't pull out hairs. You know, as you're painting, I tend to feel when you go with the less expensive brushes that, you know, you start painting and then the hairs of the brush start coming out and then that just pisses me off to no end. So, in my opinion, these work very well from Dollar Tree. I also, oh my gosh, I found so many new blind bags and toys that I have a big bag behind me. You could prep, there it is right back there. Then I'm gonna end up doing, I think a Dollar Tree haul just 
on blind bags because I came across so many different kinds. I just grabbed a bunch of different ones. I'm just gonna show you one now because this happens to be in mine. This is Lost Kittens Mice Mania. It's in a package that looks like this. I did grab a couple of them. They're by Hasbro and they're really heavy. Why are they so heavy? I'm trying to figure out, it appears to me like it says who's hidden inside, unless these are the ones that have those, um, the dough or the clay or something. But anyways, if anyone's interested on me opening one up, please let me know. I also was a bad girl down the candy aisle. Oh my gosh. But most of this is for grandpa as well. I did pick up some more of the 100 gram bars. Who doesn't love chocolate, caramel, and Rice Krispies? Boy. Anyways, you get six for the price of one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I remember when these came in 10 packs. Then they went from 10 to 8. Then they went from 8 to, you know, now we're at 6. It's like unbelievable. Prices just keep going up and everything gets smaller and smaller. All right, this is 5.25 ounces. You do get seven packages, not packages, excuse me, seven bars, just like the fun size bars you get at Halloween time. So I did grab some extra ones of those. And this is one of grandpa's favorite, which is Baby Ruth. And that is basically nougat, uh, caramel, peanuts, and chocolate. And this also had the bonus extra one in there. So I got that for him. He will love that. Oh, and then I found these, which I thought were really cool. These are Reese's, brand name, um, Big Cup with pretzels. So it's milk chocolate, peanut butter, and pretzels. It's a 1.3 ounce size. It's the big, I mean, this is a big cup. It's not a small one. Expiration date on this is November, my bad, September of 2021. So big cup. Um, I grabbed a cup, whoops, I grabbed a couple of them. So one for me to try and a couple for grandpa. So that was kind of fun to find. Carmex, brand name again. This is the 0.35 ounce. This is the standard size. That is your Carmex. I don't know about any of you, but for me in the winter months, I get sinusitis like you guys, you know, TMI, right? But I get sinusitis and chapped lips. OMG. So that's why I'm such a chapstick whore because I'm constantly, and if I don't, they get all cracky and ugh, it's just a mess. So that's why you always see me getting chapsticks. Okay. I saw, who did I just see haul these? It was Sherry, but I can't think of her channel name. It's just gone blank off the top of my head and I apologize. I'm trying to give you credit and I can't think of your, your you guys know who she is. I wanna say Gypsy something. Anyways, she had shown in her video the two pack of the soft soap bars. So I grabbed a couple of these and oh my gosh, they smell so good. So I just wanted to give her a little bit of shout out there um, because I saw her haul these. So I grabbed a couple for myself and they really, really smell good. All right, then look at these little cutie pies. I guess I am not gonna find any unicorn, not unicorns, oh my gosh, because that's what I'm holding. I don't think I'm gonna find any gnomies. Out here in my area, New York State, I'm on the East Coast in the Hudson Valley and I have not seen diddle. Not diddle, just a couple window clings and some towels, that's it. But I did come across these guys and what I was doing while I was talking was kind of fluffing it up a little because you know, sometimes these stuffed animals come in in such bulk, they're smashed in the boxes. So you gotta puff them up a little bit. These are little unicornies. They're six inches. And this is what the first one looks like. Now, of course, they're not gonna be perfect, but I'm one of those that sometimes you just gotta get in there and fix their face and rearrange things. And you know, and they start to look a little bit better. So they had them in Seferin, Seferin, Seferin? Blooper, where's my caloodles? They had different color sets. So this is color set number one, which has like pinks and beiges. Color set number two is like all these bright, I wanna say like psychedelic 70, 80 tie dye colors. And then the third color I found, I don't know if there's more, 
They're all six inches. Let me fluff this guy up a little bit. And this one to me, I don't know because I'm not sure. This one kind of looks like maybe a unicorn face. This to me looks like a lamb. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally losing it. I, I wouldn't be surprised. And then I look at this one and I see the unicorn, but it looks like it has a face of a kitty cat. I love the colors, the pinks. This, you know, I grabbed this because of the colors, but is that not look like a kitty cat? All right, so I'm going to say it again. It could be a donkey. It could be a donkey. Yeah, that could be a donkey. A moose. I'm not sure. Again, I'm saying a lamb. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> no idea. I'm just showing this stuff. Okay, I also picked up a couple bags of glitter vase filler. This was the first time I had seen this set at Dollar Tree. And this has um, 110 pieces. You get red balls, white balls, and pink balls. Now, something about vase filler is, number one, it can be very expensive in like Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics and places like that. If you got that kind of money, by all means, go for it. Um, but when I can get something for decorative purposes for a dollar, I'm going to go for it. I did pick up two packages because not only can you use this as bowl filler, but you can use it for all kinds of things. First thing off the top of my head, just an example, I make the faux cupcakes. When I make the faux cupcakes and I want to put a cherry on top, I'll stick one of these little balls on top. There's so many different things that you can do with things like this. It's just, you got to let the imagination go. Needed some nail polish remover. I've been kind of painting my own. You know, my nails have always grown really long naturally. Then after I had my kids, they grow long and then they just bend and crack. I want to go get my nails done. I just not feeling it right now for the circumstances. So I've been painting them and they're broken and I'm just trying to keep myself occupied. Um, but they had 100% acetone. I've never seen the regular 100% acetone. I just think when you have more acetone, it tends to take the polish off better and it doesn't leave so much of a stain. That's just my opinion. Um, it's six fluid ounces, but it's funny. Oh, I thought they had an expiration date because I was gonna say, why would you have an expiration date on nail polish? It was when it was manufactured. So 100% acetone was the first time I had seen that particular at Dollar Tree. I did also grab some more glitter confetti. And these are basically all different types of hearts. And I know the packaging, there's some glare, but different types of hearts, which I'm gonna be sprinkling on that back portion over there once it's finished. Also found this, which I thought was kind of cool. For those of you that like grapevine, this is a five piece set. And I don't know if you can see them how well, you know what? There's only one way to make it happen, right? So you get five of these in a package. So for those of you that like to craft, here's what it is. It's a grape vine heart. You could put a little ribbon around this and you, so many different things. It would be perfect to set on a tiered tray. It measures four inches by three and a quarter. And again, they're all pretty much exactly the same. Obviously you're gonna have a little bit of a change in shape. Um, there's that way I like my hearts to sit, but super cute. And I wouldn't imagine them sticking around long because it seems like every time they put a craft out now, it's like gone immediately. A couple things from the beauty section. I found this new mask. It's by Mask Bar. It's blue glitter. Um, okay, that should be different. I've uh, got several face masks and it's time I start um, doing something. I need a whole new, there's going to be a whole new thing. I got all kinds of stuff going on, man. I need an overhaul. So this is one complete mask. It says moisturizing, smoothing, illuminating, but it's blue glitter. So I'm going to do a review with this and um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we won't scare any neighbors. That was a whole bit. I mean, my neighbor next door probably thinks, what is that woman doing during the day? The other package I found is by Broadway Beauty. 
It is a pore minimizing mask and it's a charcoal. And there is what that looks like. So I'll also be doing a product review on that as well. Also in the beauty section, oh, they had some new spray bottles. And I like rose gold. I'm a fan of rose gold. And I just liked it because it looked more, I have the plastic ones at Dollar Tree, like the they have green, blue, pink, the little plastic ones. They're okay, but I just thought, you know, because I do use a spray bottle every now and then, I just thought this was slimmer. It holds more. This actually is, it's not going to tell me how much it holds. Oi. Okay, well then I guess I can't tell all of you how much it holds, but I can tell you that it's six and a half inches in height. I did get two because it's just, for me, it's better to have one in one place and one in another. Then I found this, which was a new find for me. I don't know if it's just something our store over here started carrying, but this is uh, Carlin's Finest Double Action Baking Powder. Woohoo, everybody get excited now. <laughs> I was like really trying to, you know, get y'all prepped for that. It's just something different I hadn't seen, and we use baking powder in the house. So this is an 8.1 ounce container. There it is. And then I have one other item I'm going to share with you. And then I have something that I need to take care of. I hope to be back with another video tonight. I don't want to make any promises, but I'm going to try. I wanted to show you that I found another Hot Wheels. And this little one is the ice cream truck. So I've purchased many in the series. And this was one of the cars from Hot Wheels that I was missing. And I think this is number, is it seven? Yeah, number seven out of 10. So this is the ice cream truck, which I thought was so cute. You know, I don't think that's probably something we're gonna see much anymore, ice cream trucks. Um, I know back home in Chicago, besides the regular ice cream man that used to come around, we also had the good humor man that comes around. And there's a lot of car shows out here that I go to in the summertime when they have the good humor guy and he still rings the bell all dressed in white. It's amazing how much our world is changing. Um, but then again, generations change and, you know, just put me back into the 80s and I'd be absolutely tickled to death. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's it for this one. Hopefully you're enjoying my new background. I'm still upstairs in the room that's being worked on. It's come to a, a bit of a halt under all the circumstances that I'm dealing with right now. So I'm trying to pretty it up the best I can for all of you. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Um, I'm almost caught up on Instagram. I'm getting ready to attack the Gmail account because I, I know there's Connie. I know, I know there's just so many people. Um, happy mail went out today. Giveaway mail went out today. Um, I'm just doing the best I can to catch up. So please just bear with me until next time, everybody. Bye for now.